Toy Story 2 is one of the best animated sequels yet, it made us laugh, it amazed us, but it can make us cry too. In the movie, there is a scene where Jessie tells Woody her backstory where she used to belong to a young girl named Emily. As the years went by, Emily grew up and donated Jessie to charity, along with her other childhood Woody's roundup memorabilia. However, in this story, you are going to learn something a lot different compared to the final film's release. It was the middle of spring and I was browsing on the internet about the first seven Pixar films from the pre-Disney era. I was concentrating mostly on Toy Story 2, Monsters, Incorporated, Finding Nemo and The Incredibles. Just then, my iPhone buzzed and I got a notification on Google Mail. I opened up the notification and it was from Pixar. The email said this. Dear biggest Pixar fan in Australia, we would like to present you this deleted extended version of When She Loved Me from Toy Story 2. We were going to add this in the final film, but we thought it would upset thousands of our audiences, we had to scrap it. After you watch, please take our advice to not screen it in public. Thank you. The Pixar team. This is, like, the third time I had received an email from Pixar Animation Studios. I noticed there was a file that I could download to watch this never-before-seen deleted draft of the When She Loved Me sequence from Toy Story 2. I downloaded the file and it was labeled as, Jesse Story and used ending.mov. I opened up the email and oh boy, I experienced a depressing surprise. The scene started with Woody climbing onto the chair to talk with Jesse about his relationship with Andy and how much he meant to him. After that, Jesse then told Woody her backstory as in the final film. The song and scene continued as in the final film, but after putting Jesse in the donation box and getting in her car, Emily started experiencing problems with her car. Her car swiveled for a bit and drove through a fence, leaping over the hill with the tree with a tire swing she used to play with in her childhood. Seconds later, the car then drove back over the hill before driving off screen. But just then, the car came back and it was racing towards the box Jesse was placed in. Jessie was shocked, she jumped out of the box right before Emily's car was about to hit her. Emily's car then ran over the donation box and collided with the moving truck, which was parked outside. Jessie was on the ground, catching breath. At that moment, she noticed a large dent on the hood of the car. Jessie then went to check if Emily was okay. Unfortunately, Emily wasn't. She was bleeding from her nose, though it is faintly, and she was bruised. Jessie was shocked and worried for Emily. She thought for a moment if either she could leave her alone to die or come to life in front of her before she would. Jessie jumped onto the HUD through the broken front car window. She was close to crying, looking at Emily's current state. Emily opened her eyes, vision blurred. At that moment, she regained her clear vision and realized Jessie was in front of her, alive for the very first time. Jessie? You're... you're alive? Emily said, in a wheezy tone. Yes, I am alive. I hope you understand, I'm not going to hurt you. Jesse answered, about to break down. You're not going to hurt me, are you? Emily said again, getting a bit anxious. No, no, no. Of course not. I just wanted to see you come alive before you die. Jesse replied. Emily then pleaded. I'm about to pass Jess. We should have one more embrace as owner and toy. Jesse complied and put on a brave face. The two hugged. Emily shed a tear, while Jesse cried quietly. She had just lost the owner who was once a beautiful little girl, now a young woman who grew out her childhood toys. Jesse, said Emily, starting her dying words. Yes, Emily? Asked Jesse. I'll always love you. You're going to be taken care of by ah. Uh. Before Emily could finish her sentence, she finally blacked out. Emily, no. Jesse cried. She finally put her hands over her face and sobbed realistically. Her sobs sounded too real to be faked by her actress, Joan Cusack. At that moment, it showed a montage of more memories Jessie and Emily spent together, like bringing her to sleepovers, visiting carnivals, having tea parties and Emily showing Jessie to her friends. Jessie stopped crying, and she had shed a tear. Normally, the toys in Toy Story don't shed tears because they are made of either plastic or stuffing. 
The first Pixar film to use tears was Monsters, Inc. Jessie then noticed Emily's phone in her bag, she decided to fake her voice, disguising as a witness. After calling the police, Jessie then went back in the box Emily put her in, and the police arrived and found Emily's body. The flashback ended, and Woody was shocked, he was about to cry too. You never forget kids like Emily or Andy, but they forget you. Not only that, they can die, and you'll forget them if you don't remember them for too long. Jesse glumly confessed. Woody felt horrible. He never met a toy whose owner had died, he had to make things right with her. Jesse, I'm really sorry that Emily had to go. If Andy ever died, I'll always remember him by his toes. I didn't know she was so important. Just go. Jesse interrupted, wanting to cry alone. Woody got closer to Jesse to try and reassure and comfort her. He attempted to wrap his arms around her to hug her, but she pushed him away, causing him to fall on the floor. I said go. I want to be left alone. Jesse asked bitterly and sternly. Woody sighed, feeling more guilty. If Jesse wasn't so hard on him for having an owner, this never would have happened. Woody then walked towards the air vent and unscrewed it. Before he was about to take a step in, Stinky Pete explained his speech, as heard in the final film about Andy's future and asking Woody what his choice will be. But when Woody hung his head down, he started to cry realistically. His sobbing wasn't too loud, it was quiet sounding, as it was a series of sniffles and quiet chokes. Just then, the final shock from the movie appeared, which is Woody tussling Bullseye's head, deciding to stay with the Roundup gang. At this moment, the video ended. I was stunned and disappointed, I cried. Honestly, I never cried to the one she loved me seen in the film, but this extended version hit me the most. I cried at a medium rate until it toned down to soft sobbing. I didn't screen it in public, but instead, I added a link to it via Mediafire for everyone to see. Pixar movies can make people laugh, but they can make us cry too. Every night I sleep in bed, I always keep my Jessie doll by my side so she can have the love she deserves.